episode of Tap Out. What's up, kid? We heading to Illinois. Please. Got to kick it with our boy, Matt Hughes. Matt Hughes. <laughs> the grand slammer of MMA and one of our first sponsored fighters. We hanging with Matt Hughes on his farm and then on the signs of Mottograph. Bang, bang. But you know how we do. Let's go. Along the way, we stopping by some of the top MMA schools. Mark Lehman. Looking in on some badass fighters. I got straight. It's time to choose our boy, get behind him, and sponsor him for the Ring of Fire event in Denver. We decided to go with the hometown boy. The kid's got talent, charisma, flash, and attitude. Shooting out cross country, got a couple fighters want to check out. Hopefully, find a new prospect. First, I gotta do a little photo shoot for my website, so I want it to be hot and sexy. The purpose of today's photo shoot was to get a few more things on the website. Killing. I'm always just trying to take some hot pictures. You know what I mean? It's hot. Today, we have a bunch of different clothes that we're gonna be shooting. I'm gonna be half naked shooting some hot photos, so I'm excited about it. Spread your legs just a little more. There you go. You know, I kind of like the ghetto vibe and all that because to me, mixed martial arts is sexy. It's violent, but a lot of fighters come from the street, so I like the street atmosphere. I like to put a sexy chick in a up environment. That's what I'm trying to say. We leaving. It's great, huh? Let's roll, kid. Let's go. The only way to find the up-and-coming, top-notch fighters is go to their gym. See how they work out, see how they train, see who's around them, their training partners. So we're going to hit the road and go find them. Find the next diamond in the rough. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Hughes! Matt Hughes! Matt! What's up, buddy? So along the way, we're going to stop at Matt Hughes and his farm and do a little autograph signing in Illinois. OK, OK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yep. We'll get, a, get you on the four wheels and we'll go for a, a little ride. Oh, money? Oh, perfect, bro. We're gonna get dirty. Matt Hughes! Matt Hughes! Matt! Hughes. Matt. Matt. So, we're gonna make a few pit stops, <laughs> check out some gyms, check out some fighters. Matt, crazy. So now we just roll up to Vegas. Here we drive over to Mark Lehman's Cobra Kai. So what are we doing at, at Lehman's? We're... <laughs> <laughs> see what new fighters are either in there. He's got up and coming. I'd like to see that or, uh, you know, see who's in there just hanging out. Let's go. Hustle, right hustle. Do the screen for punk ass right now. Go. Oh. <laughs> Mark Lehman! What's up, Mark? Mark Lehman, I would say is, and, and not to be racial here, but to me he's a little white kid that I met a long time ago that won the first jiu-jitsu tournament that I ever sold a t-shirt at. Uh, I got the tap-out shorts on underneath though. Yeah. <laughs> Green and white ones. He won that tournament, and since then, he's come up to be one of the greatest ground coaches in the United States. <laughs> And there was a young fighter there. He wanted me to check out Billy Ho, Puerto Rican kid, Hawaiian. It's going to be a badass, so we checked him out. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, Billy. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
free. But he's unbelievable, man. He uh, picks up stuff so quick. Is this one of your training partners, too, or no? Really? Yeah, once in a while. He's still green, you know what I mean? Like, in the whole MMA aspect, but, like, separately, he's, like, unbelievable. Like, you just straight box at him. He's good. You should wrestle with him. He's good. But you put it all together, he's still kind of putting it together. Like, still kind of getting used to it. You can just tell he's just a, a natural. He's good. You can see the way he moves, and you can tell he, he's going to be a good fighter. I haven't seen him fight, but watching him train, he looked good. Hey, Billy, how old? Billy, are you 19? 19? Coming to find out, he's 19 and only been training a couple months. What kind of juice your mom <laughs> Mark tells me this kid's up and coming, I like to get in his ear a little bit. Let him know, hey, man, I'm watching you. Da, da, da. Now, at least two things. One, he sees that I see something into him. And two, he sees that Mark's talking about him. So three, he's got to feel better about himself. Damn, my coach talking about me? Wouldn't be talking about me if I didn't amount to nothing. Mark might be enough to encourage a kid, but maybe Mark and tap out is just a little bit more. Yo, Billy, to rap, Billy. Please, Billy will blow right through you, put you on your knees, and that's the bottom line. I'm trying to round to the end of my time. If I rewind my life story, you wouldn't ignore me. You look up, that kid three, four, five years from now might be UFC champ. Might not be. Might be. I'm big, Dr. Drew. Well, if he ain't, what if he is? <laughs> Gotta start now. You know what I'm saying? Thanks for coming down. Yeah, man. We'll be back. We'll be in and out and in and out and then yeah, we'll do that thing with that with that new up and coming kid, bro. Billy. Yeah. Where are we going today? Okay. Colorado. Colorado. Ah! So today we're in Boulder, Colorado. I think I'm gonna stop in on Dwayne Ludwig. Bang. See who he's got. Let's go. Do you have that next MMA superstar? Let's look. Bang, bang! Bang, bang! And I expect to find some young diamonds coming up under him. What's up, D? What you doing, bro? Is that your hand? Yeah. No, that's fine. Head top of the head. I tell the guys not to go. So here's where Dwayne Ludwig trains. You know, he's an instructor here. We've heard good things about a few of his fighters. Bang himself is an exciting fighter. He's a stand-up fighter that's a champ that's also really great at MMA, but he holds a title, and I believe it's K-1, kickboxing. Let's go! Okay. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Be cool. Okay, go. Good. Up, 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 up. You know, greatness breeds greatness. I, you know, I fully go to Dwayne's knowing that not only is he a great competitor, but he's a great instructor. Yeah. Hey, hey who, who, who's uh, some of your up and coming young cats? Elliot with the red shirt. You just have to change your level. Show it. Donald with the black and white shorts. Donald's just scrappy as hell, you know? Mm -hmm. he's, just a, he's just a gamer. Christian, where's Christian? Christian got the camo shorts. Mm -hmm. red and shirt. Luke. Hey, Dwayne, are these guys all doing ground two out here? Yeah. I let Elliot with the red shirt, he runs that. Oh. Now, when you fall to your side, put that hand in, yes. Because right now, what's he going to do? He's going to defend you in his neck, and now you're going to put the second hook in. I talked to Dwayne about him first and see what he says. And I talked to Sven, who's been Bang's manager forever. Walk up kind of And see what he thinks. Donald Cowboy's he's 55. He's tailor-made for this. Juice is so that juice. He's 22-0 in Muay Thai with 18 knockouts, and he's 6-0 in MMA, all by submission. Luke, Luke just moved out here from Nebraska. Right? He just had like a 17 second or something, 19 second oh, that's knockout. Yeah, in Canada, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Christian is the one who's the pound version of Dwayne on his feet, and plus he's got six, six, six jits. He's that's camel shorts, right? Camel shorts, yeah. Yep, yep. A little, little bang is that. Christian's at 45, and he is. Five and one. Little bang. Little bang. Stand up looked pretty good. They're calling him Little Bang. That is obviously his stand up's pretty good, but they were hyping his jujitsu. How are you fighting in this next ring of fire? This one is uh, yep. going to win. How's you fight? Man, I've been fighting every two weeks, dude. The way I've been winning is knocking guys out, yeah, man. Yeah, I mean, that's yeah. just it. I mean, I got blessed with this tough jaw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. So uh, I'm going to use it. I'm ready to put myself on the mat, you know? I'd just say Cowboys ground is. 
how is it? It's, it's, it's good. He's one of those naturally gifted guys that like, whatever he does, he does well. Yeah. And so he's got Cowboy. He looks like a pretty good fighter. Looks like he's good. He's putting all his tools together. He's pretty quick, big, tall guy for his weight. And uh, he looks like he could be promising. I'm Donald. Yeah, punk ass. Nice to meet you. Everybody's been, uh, Dwayne has some good things to say about you. Yeah? You fighting at 155? Yeah, 155. Yeah, you look like a good, yeah, a good 155er. <laughs> I mean, I, I can barely make 155. Yeah. And I actually sit like 158, 159 every really? day. So, yeah, so I don't cut much, but. Nice. So. You pretty strong at 155? I feel strong, yeah. Really? Yeah. So, uh, my just is getting there. Yeah, that's uh, that's the key, you know. Go do it, bro. Right now. When is your next show? April 20th. Where out here? Here. How many people? Six thousand. Let's talk about that yeah. before we leave. Because we'll, should... I'd like to I'll roll you. up. Yeah. Are you gonna, you who are you gonna have fight in there? Yeah. Out of anybody here? Uh, Elliot's fighting for my belt. Christian's defending his belt. Cowboy will be fighting. That's what I want. A lot of my top boy or both those guys. Both those guys will be fighting. All right. Are you out? Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool, cool. So Sven puts on a fight called Ring of Fire in Denver, Colorado. So as soon as we finish with Matt Hughes, we're going to head back there. Good times, man. All right, we're gonna so run yeah, April 28th, that's, that's sweet. For sure. We're cool to sell a little bit of oh, stuff yeah, on the inside. Yeah, it's all good. Punk ass work out with you the, the yeah. We're good. We'll get you on the canvas, too. We'll get you on the post. OK. Yeah. All right. Sven, start the game. Hang with the boys. <laughs> guys, uh, <laughs> Later, Phil. Later, fellas. Yeah, just walked up on a whole host of fighters. Just Elliot from <laughs> Grappler's Quest. Cow what's his name? Cowboy? Yeah, Cowboy. That motherfucker at 55. I'm, I'm just concerned about their grappling skills, you know, because they look like their stand-up was on. Cowboy is 22-0-1, oh, a 55-er in tie. But he's got, what, how many knockouts did they say in MMA? Eight, eight. Eight Think knockouts in MMA. Something, I don't remember what it really? is. something sick like that. Something like that. So I stopped in at Dwayne Ludwig's gym. He's got some monsters in there. We have Billy Ho at Mark Lehman's. You know, the fight's in a week. Got to make a decision who Tap Out's going to sponsor and uh, let him know so we can get this going. This right here, if we weren't rolling through here and stopped by at uh, Ludwig's, we wouldn't have seen that Elliot Cat and that Christian. Cowboy. Yeah. Boy, that's, that's what it. Yeah, that we find these little motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? Little yeah. diamonds amongst the coal. I changed my oil. Why worry about engine sludge? You can't see sludge coming, but it can rob gas mileage and hold your car back. Yeah, right. Castrol GTX has a powerful formula to stop sludge in its tracks. Give me a burger, fries. GTX's unique dispersants neutralize sludge for superior protection among leading 5W and 10W30s. And some extra napkins. Castrol GTX. It's more than just oil. It's liquid engineering. Saving the world from evil is hard. Fortunately, saving time and money on auto insurance can be easy. Vote by print instantly at eSurance. Take a fresh look at your auto insurance. Visit eSurance.com today. Somewhere between two highways, there was a really good station. Somewhere between breakfast and lunch, there was a roadblock. Somewhere between the kids and the grandkids, there was a second childhood. And somewhere between where you are and where you're going, there's a Super 8. See you along the way. Get more rewards with Trip Rewards at Super 8. Play Mystery Hotspot to win a dream vacation, $10,000 and more at Super8.com. There's no way to hide it. If you drive drunk, we will find you. Cops everywhere are stepping up enforcement and cracking down like never before. Sir, have you been drinking tonight? Sir, have you been drinking this evening? Sir, have you been drinking tonight? Make no mistake, you will get caught and you will be arrested over the limit under arrest. Good things go fast, real fast. The Polaris Power Play Sales event going on now until September. Rob McCullough lives for. He's a fierce competitor whose warrior mentality and iron hands has made him one of the most feared fighters in MMA. Now he'll face off with Richard Crunkleton, a fighter with lightning feet and a title in his sights.
you know, last few days. Seeing a lot of different fighters from Vegas to Boulder, Colorado. Got to make a decision who Tap Out's going to sponsor. And, and I want to go with Cowboy, you know what I mean? He, he's graceful, he's, he's a badass, he's got style. And I like his look, and I, and I like what he's bringing to the table. See what the Cowboy up top. Cowboy? Cowboy. Yeah. Now it's time to call Cowboy and give him the good news. What's up, giddy up? Yes? Cowboy! Where you at, bro? What's up? We're out here shooting. Oh, where are you at, bro? Hey, hey, how's your training going? How's your training going? Training's going good, man. Training's going real good. I am very honored that the Tapa guys came, you know, came into the gym to see Dwayne and, and, and picked me up, you know, and just right place at the right time. No injuries, or are you feeling pretty good or what? No injuries, man. I'm ready to go. Oh, shit, you're on top you're of it, good, dog. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, boy. See you tomorrow. Let's go! You can't back out with your hands down. I fight a TKO with uh, Dwayne. That was good timing, Donald. I uh, started a Muay Thai career and went uh, undefeated as an amateur and then undefeated as a pro as well. And uh, then my manager came to me and asked me to do an MMA. And uh, Dwayne and I both decided it would be a good idea. This will be my sixth MMA fight coming up on the 28th and I'm 5-0. I'll buy submission. <laughs> so. Not in singles. You need to go. No more singles. I guess I started fighting. I was high school. I was 112 pounds, you know, my freshman, sophomore, junior year. So I used to get picked on all the time, all the time getting picked on. I'd just fight and fight and fight. Hands up. And uh, then I came back my senior year and I grew, just had a growth spurt. I guess I hit puberty at, you know, senior year and came back big. And, and then I was like, all right, now you all want to fight, so let's go. And bar fight and street fighting. And ever since then, you know, I started training. So do you usually wear knee-high black socks when you uh, run? Yeah, that's your dude, style, yeah, dude, bro. Hey, we can help you out, out man. Dwayne and I, we go back about four or five years now. When I first met him, I was, was kind of like punk to him, you know? I should have brought my rock climbing gear. That's what I was selling when we were coming up, man. But then I started proving myself in the ring, showing him that I train, I want to train, and, and he, he just kind of took me under his wing and pushes me to, to the point that I need to be pushed. I'm one of the guys that needs to be pushed. If not, I'll just slack, so. He definitely does that. One of the reasons I run at Red Rocks is because it mentally, mentally breaks me down, you know, makes me, when I'm done, makes me know that my conditioning's there. That mental break, that mental block, is I don't want to have happen in the ring, you know? So I want to mentally get all that out, out here, just push through it, and that way when I'm in the ring, hopefully I won't have to run into that wall. Four more times and we'll be done. Yeah. It's great. Call it, call him Matt, see what he's doing. Now we got our boy Cowboy. That's set, he's in motion, he's ready to go. Time to swing to Matt Hughes, see what he's got in Illinois, fun and games and go do this autograph sign. <laughs> About 20 minutes, Matthew. Hey, Matt, I couldn't even sleep thinking I was gonna wake up to you and Mark with the stranglehold on me. And then we'll swing back to Colorado for the Ring of Fire. <laughs> All right. All right, Matt. Matt, Matt, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> the <laughs> was that? <laughs> <laughs> Which one's Matt? Look, what's up, Big Mark? Yeah. 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 What's up, Big Mark? Hey, you got big metal for you guys down there. Matt Hughes goes back as far with me as 1998-99. He was sponsored by a different clothing company, and our bond and friendship became so close that inevitably he just broke the contract with the other company because we were sponsoring his brother Mark, his twin. We go way back to the point to where there was no crowd, no pay-per-view, the sport was illegal. Great champion, great friend. Hey. What we gotta do? Let's, what you need us to do? We got, we get really got some work to do first. Right. Now I hear he likes to try to put you to work, so I'm ready for that. You guys should have wanted to drive the dozer because that's easy compared to what you guys are doing. You guys, did, you guys, you guys didn't think he about that. Did you better watch yeah, him. Did. <laughs> so I, you get it don't really sound that fun, but okay. You don't even have to. You can come down and come up without the clutch. It's gonna be jerky, you know. Uh -huh. 
I'll cut it, you boys throw it out of the way. How's that? All right. Work. Where's punk ass? Texting? Yep. Telling people how, how he likes to text. Hey, straight. Wait, wait, wait. I don't want him in that creek. Put him over there. Over here? <laughs> That's where Mark was telling us to put him. Oh, there he comes. Look at him. He's probably texting at the same time. Watch. 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 Yeah, he's texting. Yeah, see, I told Look you. Look at he's he texting. is. Just texting. Holy. Hello. It's crazy, man. Did you see a deer yet, buddy? Not yet. All right, Where's Mark. I got everything you just cut. <laughs> I bet you do. Goodness. You guys ready to get on four wheelers now? After we got done throwing branches and <laughs> Matt and Mark said to us that yeah, there's a big mud pit down there, and if you want to take the quads or whatever the hell they were talking about. Honestly, it's unbelievable how much fun you can have just on the farm, and, and I kind of understand why Matt isn't really into the big city. One of the best times I've ever had in my life, honestly. And it's free. I'm gonna go and take a shower. I gotta watch my girl for a second, okay? We don't have a lot of time, so I'm gonna have to uh, hurry and get, get all this mud off and, uh, and get to that autograph signing. <laughs> 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 Blix, I see it, brothers. Where? Let's see how many people are out there on the left. Anybody out there? You guys got five people that want to meet you guys. That's for both of us, for all of us. Three of them are for you, two of them for us. Me and Scrape and Punk Ass were kind of talking. We're going, dang, I hope like 50, 80 people show up. Just you don't look stupid. We are oh, wow. 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 They said there was people there two hours before we got there, 2,000 people for autographs on a school night. Yeah, yeah, I got your Are you kidding me? Thank you. Man. That's crazy. All right, you guys all set? S A L. Thank you. Your mom's right there, so you're probably seeing her. All right, see? Oh, well, well, hey, there's my name. There's my grandma right there. Uh-oh. Seriously? Keep track of you. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome, buddy. Uh, Jane, I'm... Yeah, but I don't win. Matt likes to pick on him. Yeah. Matt beats me up. I think the autograph signing uh, went real well. We got a lot of people there. I was pleased, you know, and it's hard to get that out of me a lot of the time, so. What? 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 Me and Matt Hughes have a little bit of history in this uh, kind of uh, he jumps me when I'm not looking, I jump him when he's not looking. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Here we go. Oh, no. It's about to go down. That's just the way you came up. I was like... Oh! 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 <laughs> hey, you're my shoe bag. Right? <laughs> you're still cheap. I know you are. <laughs> just stick your foot in it. Please, just let me get my shoe bag. I, I, I'm not telling you. Can't. <laughs> <laughs> Look at <laughs> <laughs> that hits me with a kick. And I, I don't ever like to even wince at a body shot, but... Oh, that's a good one. Ah! Okay. Man, I don't know what came over me. I just became a, a an overnight wimp. Early okay. turned on us today. <laughs> knocked everything out of me. Oh. That's a good one. <laughs>
<laughs> it felt good, though. I liked it. <laughs> me up. Now we're going to swing back around on our ponies, pick up Cowboy, and go back his fight in Denver, Colorado at the Ring of Fire. I'm going to call Cowboy! <laughs> cowboy and see. Ow. And see uh, where he's at, see how he's feeling. Cowboy! Yeah. What's up, man? How you feeling? I feel good, man. I was sick as hell this weekend. Got staff and then got over with it, so. You got oh. staff? Yeah. Where'd you get it at? Where at? Oh, my leg and arm. Oh, oh. Get some rest, bro. All right, bro. All right, man. All hey. right, cowboy. We'll see you soon, dog. All right. All right, bro. Cowboy! Bye! Bye. Later. Ah. Damn, that's that bro. On his leg and his arm. Yeah, hey, my don't you clean yourself? Do you clean? Do you clean yourself? Do you go home and shower at night? Do you wash your clothes? That's how that happens. You hear that, punk ass? What's up? Uh, he got staff in his arm and leg, cowboy. Arm and leg? Arm and leg. He doesn't have a lot of time for his fight, dude. That's Who does, bro. man? He Who can't does, train, can he? He ain't been training for two days. Really? So he's heard that cowboy has a staff infection. I'm gonna swing by his gym, see how he's doing, see if he's gonna be able to fight, see how his mindset is and how his training's going. Yeah, good job, good job. No more clapping, man. You're moving around and putting, hide, you're, hide your combo with your foot. Okay. Okay. Let's get your elbow in as well, huh? Bang, bang! Oh, right. ah, bang, bang! Not... Bang, bang! Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> you good? Big bang, big bang. Oh, man, man. I don't know. Good a little quicker, palms down. Turn Stay the cowboy. Go, 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 go! Pick it up, guys! Let's go! Dwayne's barking orders, doing his thing. Look in there, cowboy's train. Cowboy, cowboy! Hit it. Oh, uh, yeah, last weekend I got a uh, staph infection in my leg and on my arms. And that put me down for like three days. It was just real nauseous and just put me down. So I went to the emergency room and they gave me a, an ointment to put on it to get it under control. Find your distance, all. I feel strong. I feel good now. But that weekend passed. So. Time. Check it out. It's water. Good work, dog. Good work. Good work. Good work. Good work. Good work. Good work. I feel. I asked Cowboy, how's he feel? He said he's a thousand percent. That's all I need to hear. That's all I want to know. I'm not, you know, anything else isn't even an issue. Not if his mama's chonies are clean and his diaper's wet. None of that Is it raining or is it snowing? Is rice really white? We don't give a Let's go fight. found out that uh, Cowboy needs a ride to weigh in, so we're gonna have to go get him, and um, whew, hopefully we're on time. How far is it, Paul Gas? To his house? Uh, 10 minutes. Who's that all guy? Yo! Cowboy! Cowboy! Shut up. Hey, bro, we'll be there in about 10 minutes, bro. 10 minutes, dog. Sounds good, bro. 10 minutes, man. How's your arm? How's your leg? How's the staff? Everything's good. A little bit of staff ain't gonna hold us down. Cowboy seems to think he's over his staph infection, but um, that's a pretty serious outbreak. I just hope his strength is up. I hope his body's not so weak that it throws a wrench in his fight plan. All right, bro, we'll be there in 10 minutes. All right, see you soon. Cowboy! Cowboy gonna do cowboy! Those guys are animals, huh? Cap on shorts, hat. Oh, yeah. You know why I'm so late? because they didn't have enough tap out things on them, so I made them put more. I have a pair of uh, Muay Thai shorts. I had 29 fights in them. It's tradition that I wore my Muay Thai shorts every time I fight, and I hooked up with tap out, and they wanted me to wear their shorts, and I'm like, so they cut them and made made a new pair of board shorts out of my old shorts that are all bloody. You haven't watched this since that tournament? No, I haven't watched them, period, ever. I know they don't help you win, or they don't give you extra energy, but it's just that superstitious. Whatever. So I need him. Hey, bang. Oh, nice, bro. Oh, God, you ought to see. Look at the cowboy in the back. You're excited about the blood? <laughs> I love the blood. Yeah. What's oh, up, him? bro? How you feel? Too good, 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 good. Yeah. Oh, Here. These are my shorts I had made, man. Oh, no. Those are bad, bro. Look at that. 
<laughs> that's a... Cowboy! Cowboy! You. That's a that's but sick. That turned bro. out good, right? Yeah. That's sick. Him making his own short doesn't do a lot for us, but once I saw the short, the short looked pretty cool. So we gave our uh, thumbs up. Give him a honk. Give him a honk. That's right. Just the total amount to get if you win. Right. It's getting them there. That's right. Hey, what is the W9 about? We have to pay taxes, my friend. Uh, Sans win. I don't know. Since today. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. it's the yeah. Ring of Fire, a 155 pound feature mount, Anthony Engine Quane. Look at all that, dude. Look at that. For this fight, I'm stepping up a weight class, not because I have to, but because the opponent that I have can't make the weight, so we're gonna step up and take his weight. You know, I fight 55, but he's a 170 pounder, you know, cutting down to meet me. So I've been trying to put on some weight and meet him halfway. 160.2, Anthony Njunquane. The guy I'm fighting, uh, Anthony's from uh, Dallas, Texas. He's uh, amateur in kickboxing, and he has seven MMA fights all either knockout or decision, so he was gonna wanna stand and bang, which I'm okay with, you know? So we both come from background in kickboxing and, you know, throw everything I got at him, and when the chips fall at the end of the night, we'll see where they lay. Get him, cowboy! Ladies and gentlemen, what? He's the cowboy! Get him, cowboy! So winning! The Cowboys Bale, Colorado. Get him, cowboy! And he's five and oh. 159 and a half, the Cowboy, Donald Cerrone. Both fighters are undefeated at this time. Whoever loses this is suffering their first defeat, so nobody wants to lose this fight. They're evenly matched. Both got the same type of stand-up ability. Cowboy! It's gonna be a war. Cowboy! You know, usually I'm real timid and I kind of just look down, but the first time I seen Anthony, my opponent, I uh, looked in his eyes and it made me mad, you know? I don't know what it was. I just stand. I just want to hit him right there. We're gonna get it on. You know, I'm ready to fight right now. It's like us in that fight, bro. When you get in there and fight, dude. Yeah, you're like on the line with you over there. Good, good, good. You guys taking off? Yeah. All right, boys. Yeah. If you need it, tomorrow, you know, we'll do. Okay. I can't wait for tomorrow's fight. This fight ain't no joke. Cowboy likes to ride bulls. We're gonna have time that bull and let him ride this one out because this cat's gonna come in there swinging and throwing just like Cowboy likes to do. I expect a victory from Cowboy, but he's gotta buckle up and let's do this. Okay, everybody, we're on a tight deadline. Look at all the staff I got. I got a uh, staff infection in my leg and on my arms. But come fight time, I'll be 100% for sure. I'm just gonna do my physical right now. I hope I pass the meds. All right, um, any recent injuries, broken bones, anything good? Contact lenses when you fight? Nothing good. Shake my hand, shake my other hand. Are you allergic to any medicine? No. Nope. All right, good luck then. Thanks, sir. The fight order goes Cody's first, then you. Right. So I'm going to go help Nate with Cody, and then I'll be back and forth here okay. helping you. Dwayne Ludwig called me up from Albuquerque, New Mexico. He has four fighters on the card. That's a lot of guys. So he called me up to help out. So I was able to help out with Cowboy's fight. Hey, what, what time the show starts? 7.30? 7. Doors open at 6.30 or 7, punk ass? 6.30. Fight starts at 7.25, and we'll be rolling in soon. We're right just on time, just living the dream. <laughs> what happened there? Thank you, bro. Just making sure you know I'm ready. Hey. OK. Toddy Wang City Da Wap. To do. And the cookie dang boys. Play it, punk in. This is what, what, how many people total you think? We got to the arena and the place was packed and the venue looks sick. It's got everything that a big show has, but kind of pushed into a smaller venue. This is a great turnout for Sven's Ring of Fire. How many is a seat? 
I was surprised walking into the arena. Hey, it's actually pretty cool in here. And Cowboy's a hometown favorite, so that gives you a little push on the back, too, you know? So it was cool. Pull up again? Uh, That's off the charts, dog. Thanks, guys. Hello, man. That's sick, bro. I wonder if this ever goes away. Does it ever get easier? That's when you need to be scared. The nerves just never wear out, man. I get excited, and then I'm like, why do I fight? You know, I hate this. I hate every minute of it. That's fire, brother, and that fire is what gets you through fights. It just takes me a minute to get going in there, man. I hate that. Take your time. This is your fight. You're in charge of it. But then when they raise your hand and the whole place goes crazy, that's why you do it. That is art. I've been rapping hands for years, and I can't do that. He gives the best hand jobs I've ever seen. What are you gonna remember to watch out this guy has tonight, Mr. Cerrone? Right hand. Right hand. You ain't gotta be paranoid about it, just keep it in mind. You gotta watch my right hand. Damn right. And the whole rest of the arsenal you bring. Bang, bang! Bang, bang, cowboy! So fourth fight, Scrape and I go backstage to check on Cowboy. How you feel? Good? He wasn't messing around, not joking. He had his sweat going. Cowboy's ready to hear his name. We'll go out there and get a victory. You know, it's okay, it's just your house tonight, isn't it? Gingus, Gingus, the whole crew is here. I'm so glad that Greg Jackson's here, you know, sitting with Cowboy, because I got four of the fighters I was running around like crazy, you know, so thank God for Greg Jackson. Switch. Nice, Adam, boy. Good. Hey, that's it, good, there it is, on good. Right away, one, two, so you get that, there you go, that's it. Hi, Nate, how are you? That's it, that's it, good entrance. Now you're cooking. Like that, baby. I'm uh, from Texas, so uh, I know Cowboy's opponent, Anthony. He's uh, a really good kickboxer. This is fun now. This time, I let it go. Both guys are really technical, and both guys are counter punchers. But uh, once they start butting heads, Anthony's going to learn, you know, that Donald's a go for it kind of guy. That's it, good. There it is. Three, four. Oh, no, he put the tap out on the hat. Oh, my God, that's awesome. The nickname Cowboy came from high school. Back when they used to wear my hat everywhere. And that hat didn't get me in trouble, man. I mean, you go to a party, you know, it's peacocking. Oh, boys. You're just standing out, and people want to test you. And that's where I started fighting, you know, street fighting, bar fighting. Let's go, Cowboy. But now I'm starting to calm down and not wear it anymore just because the trouble gets me in. So I now wear it to the ring. Because every time I wear that thing, something bad happens. Not to me, you know, bad to somebody else. Family's there, your mom's there, everyone's there, you know? And there's a lot of pressure, a lot of pressure. Especially carrying an undefeated record. That's another big thing that I have that weighs on my shoulders. Let's go, Cowboy! Flomax could make a difference in one week. Donald. Let's 
Can't fight backing up. Move Watch forward. it, he's waiting to throw Move out forward. his kicks. He's gonna throw out of him. Attaboy, attaboy. Settle down and get it and put it together. Settle down and put it together, let's go. Focus in, Donald, let's go. Focus in, Donald Cerrone, and let's work. Get to work. Attaboy, now get to work. Again, Donald, let's do it again, baby. That's his hardest right. He didn't hurt you. Let's go. Attaboy, set it up. Set it up, Donald. Do it in freeze. He's going to cover that one, two again. That's it, baby. Give him a couple things. Nice. Donald, make something happen. Don't get him comfortable. Keep your punches tight. That's let's it. go, Donald. Let's go, baby. Yeah. Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. So the fight starts and they come out, you know, and you got two long individuals fighting and they're filling each other out. Your hands up! Tight. They're training back and forth. Cowboy gets hit with some good leg kicks, inside leg kicks, outside leg kicks. He counters with a punch. Go! Focus in, Donald Cerrone, and let's work. Get to work. I'm going, ooh, damn, this is gonna be a little war here. That guy was just, he's insane. He had some sick stand up, long, tall. Just like Cowboy, so it's not like Cowboy's length is gonna give him an advantage or anything. Cowboy throws a kick, and the guy catches it, and Cowboy ends up falling on his back. There he goes. You're all right, you're all right. This guy immediately pounced on Cowboy, and I'm like, oh, you know, this is how fights in right there. 
Go to work, Donald. Got to move forward. This guy can't fight going backwards. Go, go. Got to move forward, Donald. 